Hi guys, my name is Marina and today I'm going to show you how to connect your locally hosted application to the cloud database using MongoDB Atlas. So subscribe to my channel and let's go! Okay, so I have my to-do application here in this folder. Let's go to our terminal, just cd into desktop, uh, to-do app, okay, and open it with our DOM. Okay, here is our main Mm -hmm. Here is my um, our main app.js server document, and as you can see, it's currently um, using the local database, which is called To Do List. Now let's go to our Mongo Atlas. Okay, start for free. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's fill out this. We are here. I'm using JavaScript. Okay, let's use the free cluster, the free mode. I'm going to be using the Amazon Web Services that do not require any credit card information. North Virginia server. A cluster tire m0 mongodb version is okay let's just call it cluster zero okay create cluster it will take a few minutes meanwhile let's take a look at our application it's currently running on port 4000 so let's go and run our server port 4000 Okay, this is our to-do application. Uh, what it can do, it can add items, it can also delete items from the local database. Our cluster is being created. In the meantime, let's uh, set up our network access. Add IP address and just for simplicity, let's allow access from anywhere. Confirm. Okay, then let's create a database a user who will have admin rights to access with the password i will call it marina admin and let's create a password okay here we choose atlas admin add user all right what's up with our cluster it's still creating okay let's wait okay our cluster is created now let's connect using the mongo shell I've done already steps one and two uh, when I was uh, installing the MongoDB on my laptop. Uh, so now we need to copy this link. We go to our terminal. Okay, I'm gonna stop all the processes that I run and paste this one here. But instead of DB name, um, I will just write some test DB. Okay, password. Password is the one we used to create the admin account. Okay, now it's successfully connected. Just to check, let's run some command. For example, show databases. You see we have two databases currently. And now it will allow us to connect our application. Node.js version is correct. Include blah, blah, blah. Copy this link and let's replace the link in our server file from the local hosted we just leave the name of the database here. Instead of anything else, we co we paste that, that link that we just copied. Okay, here we check. Marina admin, okay, but instead of password placeholder, I will just type in the password that I used to create the admin account. Everything else is okay, mongodb.net. And here we replace everything until the name of our local database. Hit save. Now let's go to our terminal, restart our Mongo shell, open the new tab, and let's start our server. Okay, it's running, and now let's check our app. We go over to the to the home route. As you can see, everything is working okay, and add items is also working but it's communicating with our atlas database now you can check it if you go to collections 
you can see we should now have here a to do database from our computer uh, items collection and inside we have default objects if we delete for example here the one and we update here the items uh, reset it's gonna have just one object Ta -da! okay i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a like subscribe to my channel and uh, write me in the comments if you would like me to do another tutorial on how to install mongodb on mac os especially on mac os catalina which is quite problematic i'll be happy to make a video on that i'll see you next time bye bye